Yes folks, what is the crack? Welcome to another exciting edition of Highland Paddy. Uh, I'm going to go for a, a hike today and I'm going to go for an overnight camp. I'm going to go back to a, a place where I made a video of before, a place called Glenlaw. Uh, so here it is here. This little area here called Glenlaw. And there's two little ruins of houses on there, very famous ruins which I, I, I spoke about before, but I'll speak about them again when we get there because I have a bit more information about them than I did the last time. On the previous video where I went camping here, I came across these mountains and uh, it took ages. It was a very long hike, and uh, but this time I'm getting lazy. <laughs> so I'm going to approach it from the port side. This is port here, the Glen Column Kells down here. Here's port, but uh, we're going to park the car around here somewhere and there's an old track that come, you can't see it on the map but it's on Google Earth I'll show it to you but we're gonna basically park the car around here somewhere head up on here and we'll get on the track the tracks around here come down come down to these little famous ruins uh, that's full of history Dylan Thomas stayed here and a famous painter stayed here called Rockwell Kent and then we're going to follow this stream on down and this stream is full of fantastic waterfalls and follow it on down to the coast where it, it does a final waterfall into the sea and just we're going to camp at this little cove here it's really absolutely beautiful place and it's about a million degrees today so it's fantastic can't wait this is going to be my first overnight camp of the year so i'm really looking forward to it and i've got a friend coming with me as well for a change so looking forward to this but I'll show you this little path now on Google Earth. It's not marked on the map for some reason, but let's have a look. Right, so there's Glenloch Bay. That's roughly where we're going. And uh, there's the nearest road. That's the road to port. So let me focus on a wee bit. Loch Anathran. Right. See that? See that wee track there? Look, that's the old road there into them wee ruins of houses. It's easy to see there, but once you get to this point, it's kind of becomes hard to follow. So we have to basically park the car around here and just kind of guess, <laughs> guess where the road's going to be. Oh, don't worry, I do this kind of thing all the time. I'll find it, don't worry about that. <laughs> so we're going to nip up here until we come on this track and then follow that. Follow that in there. And once we come on, once we come on these wee ruins of houses, I mean, we're, uh, we're sorted. So there's a, there's a little path. We'll come in here and here's the wee ruins of houses, look. See them there? There's one there, and there's one there. And uh, there's such famous history about these houses, but we'll get to that. And then we follow the stream down, follow it down, and uh, I think it empties into the sea here in this absolutely beautiful little cove here. But it's absolutely gorgeous. So, as I said before, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's supposed to be a gorgeous day. So, uh, Let's pack the bags and get ready to go. Declan Gavin, what a surprise! <laughs> How's it going? Not too bad. You all ready for? Yeah, I have a book for you. Excellent. <laughs> you were looking at that one time and said you'd like to read it. All right. Well, we won't be reading any books this evening. No. <laughs> but some over evening. Exactly. Right. Just coming up the Glen Gesh Pass here.
uh, here we are at the start of the walk. Not really 100% sure if this is the right place, but uh, guess we'll find out. <laughs> right. So uh, as you can see by the change in the background, there's been a slight change in the plan because uh, we encountered a rather angry farmer there a while ago and uh, he had a complete meltdown, basically chased us off the hill. It's the top pile of the cowboy. <laughs> Apparently we were, we were upsetting the sheep. <laughs> they did look quite upset though. They were upset. I mean, that, 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 that big one, he was, he was, he was, he if, need therapy. I'll need fucking therapy. <laughs> At 30 years of walking these hills, that is the biggest meltdown I've ever encountered by anybody. So we had to scrap that plan. So, but now basically we're just going to go over the sea cliffs until we get to our destination. So. That a wee well there on the on the bottom of the house look. What's that? Or would it be a place for keeping things cool? I don't know. Man, that's steep. Uh, oh. Wow. The boats out there. Yeah. Oh. That's beautiful. Well, how are you getting on now? Good, I'm done. I promise you there'll be no holes. <laughs> nice easy walk, I said. No hills, just mountains. Ah, no, ah, that's it. Just mountains. Well, we're almost there. So what we got to do now is uh, go down the bottom of these hills in that little valley and we're going to camp in that little hollow down there there's a river and that's our destination That is the famous ruins of Glenlaw down there in the hollow. That's the way we should have been coming in. Only uh, there was a slight technical problem. 
that there is Loch Anaphron. That's another look at them ruins, the famous ruins of Glen Loch. And that's Glen Loch Bay. And that there is the sea. And that there is the sky. That's my finger. That's Declan. <laughs> Okay man, alright, alright! <laughs> so, we're almost in the last stage, so we're nearly there now. Just got to go to the edge of them cliffs and then down a wee bit and we're there. And it hasn't been easy in this 25 degree heat. <laughs> so, anything to add? No. No. Well, we won't put that in the fucking phone. <laughs> Well, we're nearly here at the wee spot. We might have come here by a different route, but we're here. <laughs> it's great to be back. That's the wee stream I followed in the last time. If you look at my other video. <laughs> look at that. Ah, here we are, back at Glenlaw. Brilliant. Ah. Worth the walk. So this is our wee campsite here, pretty good spot. Just putting on some food now, by god we need it. What do you reckon, good spot? Oh brilliant. They'll have to do about us tonight in Denny's. <laughs> well folks, back in Glenlaw. It's been a couple of years but it's been worth the wait. Great weather, dubious company. We're gonna have a bite to eat, might go for a wee swim, and we're gonna have a couple of beers. Maybe a wee whiskey. Maybe ten wee whiskeys.
This video may be recorded for quality and training purposes. <laughs> uh, it won't be. It won't. <laughs> this video will be never seen again. So we were supposed to we were supposed to come down, follow the stream down. That was the initial plan. But as we explained earlier, there was a slight uh, technical issue. Uh, so we've missed those cottages that we were talking about, Dan Ward's famous cottages. So we're going to follow the stream up now and have a look at these cottages and tell you a wee bit of history about them and then we're going to walk back and it's party time! <laughs> Please enjoy, I'll call responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man's after having a breakdown, look, look, look. The man's after having a breakdown, look. One day with Highland Paddy, and he's fucking, he's thinking about jumping under the river. Jesus Christ. David, don't do it! It's alright! It's alright, hey. It's gonna be alright, I'll get it, I'll call in a helicopter. I'll get us out of here. Alright. Right. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> There's a wee road on the other side of this, Dutch. Fine. Yeah. Well, I, I use the term road very loosely. <laughs> the sweet scent of the bog all around. Maggie's eating the face off you. Glaive's biting into your arms. Ah, oh, sure you couldn't beat it. Paradise. You couldn't. Paradise wouldn't come close. Luxury. And look at that for isolation, hey? Look at that. Hello, I want to go to the shop. Give me a loaf of bread. I hang on there. I'll see you next Tuesday. Look at that. And the sea, sir. That way is America. That way is all fucking mountains. Two, three mountains to go through until you get the hard dry. So we're just coming up here now to uh, the first of these cottages. Now, I'm not sure, but I don't think this this one's Dan Ward's cottage, the famous one. I think that's the next one up. So I'm not sure who lived here, but I uh, will have a wee look anyway. <coughs> look at that! That lovely stonework. Hey. What are you doing here? This Hello is my there. house. How are you doing? Oh, 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 Jesus go Christ. Go 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 Calm down, sir. Calm down. <laughs> I'm only looking for corn crakes. Oh, they're up there. Up there. What map are you following at all? Translation. Get off my land. I don't think this is Dan, Dan Ward's cottage. I think it's the next one. It's a nice cottage though, isn't it? Jesus, it's an awful shame that the cottage is disappeared. Oh, they were a master class in organic building. Zero carbon footprint. Apart from the turf smoke, but apart from that. 
that's why they disappear because they, they were just built with everything all natural materials so they grew, they grew out of the ground and they go back into the ground This is the next one up here now. I think this is Dan Ward. So who was Dan Ward? Dan Ward. Dan Ward was a man. A man amongst men. I'll tell you now in a minute. <laughs> See, this is the wee buyer here, look, that I think he done up for the buckle. Dylan Thomas. Dylan Thomas. That's Dan. That was Dan's cottage there. And that was the wee, that was the wee place he'd done up there for the, the wee holiday home, I suppose, for the for the painter and the poet. The painter and the poet. I wonder if they inscribed their initials on the wall anyway. <laughs> Do you know there's a part of that story I forgot to tell, hey? But uh, you know Ronan, Ronan was telling me that he was out here 20 years ago and back uh, only 20 years ago the, the thatch roof was still on that there and all the old stuff was inside it, the tables and the chairs and the, 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 the old dresser with the crockery, pictures in the wall, calendars in the wall, just, just 20 years ago. That would have been some sight. But once the rain gets on, that's it. Everything's made of wood, so it just rots away. Do you come here often, Paddy? Twice a year. <laughs> right. <laughs> so here we are at uh, Dan Ward's famous cottage. Now, on my last, if you look at my old videos, you'll see I did this before. But uh, I know a wee bit more about it now. I've probably still got all the information wrong. But uh, Dan Ward. Dan Ward. Dan Ward. Dan Ward. That was his name, a right? man we all know and love. But that was the man's name. And he went away to New Zealand, and like in 1800 or so, honey, yeah. and he came back. And I don't, I don't know whether he built these cottages or whether they were already here, but he came back here anyway, started a wee farm with his wife. Out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's an hour and a half walk to the nearest road. And even that road's in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, so... There was a famous American painter called Rockwell Kent, a midges, and he heard about this man, he loved wild places, and he heard about this man living away out in the middle of nowhere in Donegal. So he came out to him, and he says he wanted to stay and live here for a while and do all his paintings. He was a, done landscape painting. So Dan fixed up that wee buyer in there behind us, which you can see, and he put him in there, and your man done all these paintings of Dan Ward making a haystack with his neighbours, and all these kind of local paintings and them paintings have been tracked down today some of them are in a museum in russia and some of them are in private owners in america long story short in today's money they're worth about a half million pound but there are paintings done of this area and, and of people from this area so he knew the poet the welsh poet dylan thomas and he's telling him about this lovely place out in donegal and so dylan thomas thought he'd come out here as well now back then when he was a young fella, Dylan Thomas had a bit of a drink problem and uh, so he thought he'd come out here as a kind of a retreat but it kind of backfired because this is prime potching making country so I don't think that he didn't do much, the retreat didn't work anyway <laughs> but uh, apparently there's a, is there a place up there I mean across? There's a town land not far from here and there's a pub in it and he done a lot of drinking in that pub and uh, he ran out of money, he drank all his money, and he says to the barman, I was told this by somebody now, 
He says, I have a couple of books here. I, I'll give you them as payment for the drink. And the barman took them anyway. He didn't think any about them. Threw them in the attic. Years later, the books were forgot. But if you had them books now, they would have been first editions of Dylan Thomas's poetry. Now, I know a wee bit about books, and I say, if you had one of them now, a very, very conservative estimate, guaranteed at least 10 grand for it. Like, and that's being very conservative, I would say. But he stayed here anyway as well. And uh, whether it inspired him to write any good poems or not, I don't know. So that's uh, the famous history. That's why this place is famous. If you Google it, if you Google Glen Law, type it into YouTube and all, you'll see there's articles about it in the Irish Times. And there's a fiddle tune called The Road to Glen Law. And that's the road we tried to come in the day. Yeah. But it, we'll say no more about that. <laughs> so, what do you think of that? James Burns album as well, The Road to Glen Law. It was called that. After yeah. the tune, I suppose. James Burns from around Carrick, this direction. He is, yeah. yeah, near Port or Glen. Glen. Uh, uh, Port's just over the hill where we came in from. Mm. Uh, so, that's that. There was a great documentary about this very place as well called Air Lorgani. I don't know what that means, I can't speak Irish, but uh, I mind seeing it and you might be able to get it on some kind of iPlayer or some kind of a thing, but if you do, uh, I'd recommend watching that. It was really, really good. And uh, We're getting it to death for the magic here. <laughs> <laughs> right, time to start drinking and I'll fucking chat. Good luck! So what did you think of that wee story, Dave? That was a very interesting story. Did you like that? Yeah. I had loads of wee stories like that there, you know. I didn't know that much about Dylan Thomas. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, there you are now. It was, it was some man indeed. Some man. man. He wrote an awful fuck. Fuck, I'm quite a serious man with a pen. But I'm not all that worried Cause maybe I'll have me a sun And the sun will be just a shiny in the morning As the first day the world begun No, it's never too late to start living To get out and have some fun The sun will be just a shiny in the morning As the first day the world begun <laughs> you know what? That's... That was beautiful, Declan. Absolutely touching. Plucked out the heartstrings, I think. You know, <laughs> I think uh, very a, emotional. A sensitive one. Very, very emotional. Yeah. Lovely water. <laughs> what are my fucking hours? <laughs> Fucking midges. Jesus, look at them. Swarming. Bastards. Uh. I woke by the seaside one morning so fair. And I asked to myself, how did I end up here? <laughs> I'm fucking asking myself the same fucking thing. <laughs> Whose idea was this? He had an old dolphin swimming in the sea And he was asking himself the same question <sighs> Wrap me up in me eye skins and jumper No more in the docks I'll be seen Just tell me I'll ship me I'm taking a trip mate And I'll see you someday in Fiddler Green Try and mess with all your videos Yeah We've been doing that the whole fucking trip <laughs> Well, we've just reached the end of our magical journey and we're just packing up now to go home and we've, we've had a wonderful time, haven't we, Declan? Yeah, it was really a tremendous. Tremendous time. Yes. And you know, it reminds me of the time many years ago when I was young, we saw an old woman wearing a Dinosaur Junior t-shirt. And you know, <laughs> so what, what more can you say? We've had a lovely time. Declan, over to you.
Could you all subscribe to Paddy's video? <laughs> Paddy, Paddy's YouTube. Because he's, do he's doing it for the money, okay? <laughs> Pretty much. He, he doesn't even like nature. He said, said to me last night, he, he fucking hates it, you know? He just does this for... He wants to make lots of money out of this whole gig, you know? So just hit the subscribe button. If everybody look, if everybody's looking at this, so hit the subscribe button and just... So fuck off! <laughs> Don't make me use it! <laughs> and, uh, uh, as well, Declan has a YouTube channel as oh. well. Gypsy Wagon TV. That's the one. Don't forget to subscribe to that for yeah. lots of traditional Irish musicians and crazy craziness. Yeah. West Side. If you want to hear more of my voice, that's where you gotta go. That's it. Yeah. Gypsy Wagon TV. So, now, we've got like a two and a half hour hike up a mountain to get back to the car. Have. Mildly hungover, still still drunk really. <laughs> you know. Let's just be honest. We're pissed. <laughs> you know. So uh really? I don't know when we'll get back. Uh it must have been something in the water we were drinking last night. Must have been it's the sea air, the sea air does it, you know. But uh, uh I was just, do I? Well it was just jolly fine all. Well so the sea fog was mad. The sea fog. You couldn't see the sea fog because it was night time, you see. And the fog, the sea fog came on, and we watched it getting closer and closer until it eventually engulfed us in its vapory embrace. And then we sat there so long that it passed us by. Uh, that's why we're soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> that must be the reason. I've got wet bottom. Right. Bottom is wet. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think so. We're, go we're going drinking when we go home. Quit while you're ahead. <laughs> Good luck! Bye-bye! <laughs> that was great!